Hello everyone. Welcome to BIM Modeler. This is Raj and in this tutorial we're going to watch basic chair modeling and we are started with a basic beginner to advanced family creation tutorials so we're going to cover all the options in the family creation of rivet so this is the basic chair modeling and non-parametric chair modeling so if you're a beginner this will help you a lot and stay tuned let's start with the tutorial let's start with the new family file so i used to work with the generic from the scratch generic model template and let's close all the background views and go to the family and category select this as a furniture category so we are creating a chair furniture let's click ok so i used to work with side by side different views so better it's wt Pressing WT will give us a side-by-side -side view of front view and the other view. I'll create a create similar of reference plane with the height of 900 and I will create another reference plane copy of, copy of it with the 500 with the difference. So that ultimately it's a chair height what we are creating. So let's create a blend. So blend is a tool which requires two close to profile in the top and the bottom so it may be any shape any different shapes and on the we are you can see that edit bottom we are doing it actually so edit top we can do it later i'm just drawing a rectangular shape by 50 by 50 by selecting the lines and i can change the dimensions so i have to measure the dimension to the reference plane nearest to reference plane it's 436 nearly so I'm moving that to nearby 236 so that it maintains the distance of nearly 200 okay then I will do a mirror mirror by the axis with a copy I can go ahead and do it but uh, we don't need it I have to edit the top so before doing it I will do one by one one leg by one leg so I'm editing the top So with the same pick line option, I will pick the same rectangular on the top side and I will go to the edit bottom base and because in the base we have to create this as a circle. I like to create this as a circle. So let me create the circle and the base with the uh, circle smaller than the rectangular. Nearly it's 15. I will move this towards the center of the rectangular or a square edit top back and now if you see that the rectangle already existing rectangle uh, square box I will delete it now if you see the uh, blend which is combined with the two different shapes is done you can extend the edges and lock it with the reference plane if you need it go to the 3d view and check the created solid element come back to the plan view now we can do a mirror to uh, mirror between the other legs I can simply click the reference plane and select the other two and we can copy the uh, mirror the other two on the bottom go to the 3d view you can see we have four legs you have to create an extrusion on the top side for the chair so we can draw a recta rectangle or square shape and if you need you can lock it I don't need to lock it so let's set the work plane and to the top side of the leg and so the rectangle will move to the top side the thickness of 250 and later if you need you can use the grip to extend the uh, chair depth and the shape as you need it you can see in that 3d use the grip to extend it the height you need it and we have defined the height already with this height and you can extend it till the 900 height set the work plane again to the front side of the chair so that we can draw a wide extrusion towards the other side now you can see the shape 
and go to the void extrusion you can draw any shape on the face we have done setting simply you can see that it's on the right side it's better to go to the right side of the view and you can see that our shape it is drawn clearly for a beginner it is better to draw it in the particular shape instead of drawing it in 3d so use the spline tool and draw your complex shape as you need it i will draw it as much as faster this goes as video goes as fast i will draw the complex shape so it must be a closed loop so you can have a different closed loop you should not cross one another and you should not have a single line in it and make sure that you select all the loops and make sure that it's not a filled dots now the extrusion is done using the grip you can extend the uh, portion you needed to you wanted to cut i wanted to cut through all the way to the end of the chair now edit the extrude again if you wanted to alter any shape you can do it or if you wanted to edit or add the another loop you can possibly do it so i'm going to edit the shape as i like to have it I like to add another rectangular with the radius value of uh, 25 in the middle of the chair so that it opens up the chair handle. Finish it. Now if you see that, now it's cutting through the center of the chair. So you can do and try it multiple shape as you need it, the way you need it. So the practice is that you, how do we create it? Now create a wide sweep to cut through the chair sitting positions the shape of the sitting so the sweep requires a path and a profile let's sketch the path and set the work plane where you wanted to draw otherwise it will come as in the uh, different work plane pick a path pick a plane so pick it so the path will be like this finish it and the profile will be a closed profile Make sure it is closed and finish it. Now we can see that our void sweep is cutting through our chair and we are practicing it. So make sure that the shape as we like to have it. Edit the shape, change their position and do it your own trial and error method, how it cuts and how you wanted to adjust it. So doing by doing it multiple times, you will get to know what is void sweep and how it reacts when you change the profile and path doing it one more time and see that it's not cutting it properly as i required sketch the path again one more time and i need to extend it to the outside and i see that now it's cutting but it, it's a small space and i i need to draw it from the bottom of the chair uh, so for that reason i want to edit the path again and i will delete the path the particular path and i will recreate the path from the bottom side you can change the multiple tools or circle or line anything you want it uh, from the chain of lines so this is our path is going to be and extend the line to outside now if you see the already existing profile is available now it's cutting through nearly right way and i have to edit the path again the profile again to the extent of more now nearly the same result a yeah, small bit need to be cutted so again i'm extending the edges to the uh, handle position and also extending the top side now, if we finish we have a perfect chair and you see the count to assign the material you have to avoid the void now change the material 
and create a new material as we needed. It's a red plastic chair I'm creating. Change it that to realistic view. Save the family to the project locations where you have. It's a non-parametric chair family and backup file will be one. Save this family. Load into project. We already opened the project file with the table, previous table family. And come back to the project and create the parameters you needed if you wanted to have the type standard chair it is and it's a standard size we can mention as standard size and if you have any other parameters you can fill in so like a url pinmodeler.com click ok and load again to the project override the existing version as parameter so inside the project you can see uh, our table already existing table is available so we have to place the chair family and you can see that in 3d and shaded mode sd shortcut and changing that into realistic you can see the material of the table and now you can make the copy of similar families and and if I see in 3D it's rotated, you can press the space and rotate it back to the normal position. Once the schedule already existing schedule, if I go to that and I can see that the chair got included into the schedule, it's a bi-directional feature, feature in Revit. Automatically, if you change in one place, it changes to the other places also. So now you, know, now you can change the type. I don't want the family and type. I will remove the family and type and add type into the position move it up now if you see the type it's clearly written as only the type name i wanted to change their type into a standard size type you can select the family and change there to standard size type once you change in plan view 3d automatically it reflects in all other views that's it save the project much for watching i hope this helps you and stay tuned with be modeler do like and share with your learning friends so that they also learn it with you and it helps them also so take care bye see you on the next tutorial